Over the course of the 1990s, former WWE star Ahmed Johnson rose from obscurity to a role on television in front of millions of viewers each week before it all fell apart. Wrestling fans who watched WWE in the mid-90s will likely harbour memories of Johnson, but it doesn't seem very likely that the former WWE Intercontinental Champion has a Hall of Fame induction waiting for him in the future. Part of the issue is that many in the industry don't appear to think very highly of Johnson. One of those individuals is WWE NXT commentator Booker T. For a brief period, Booker T and Stevie Ray were joined under the Harlem Heat umbrella by Big T, which was Johnson's WCW moniker. Johnson had left WWE the previous year and spent some time in the rival company before it collapsed in 2001. And according to Booker on his podcast, Johnson is considered persona non grata based on their experiences together. Booker's harsh words were sparked by recent comments Johnson made regarding his time in WCW, with Johnson claiming that Stevie Ray asked him to be his tag partner as a favour because he was having issues with Booker at the time. Booker pushed back on this and proceeded to speak on his issues with the retired wrestler. Additionally, Johnson recently claimed that Booker never liked him because Johnson became close with Stevie Ray while Booker was in prison. I mean, Johnson, you know, he's made a lot of claims that, you know, and I just want to, I just want to clear him up. He said, you know, when he came into WCW, my brother and I, you know, having problems to re I, You know, my brother got him to come. My brother got him in to help him make some money. That was it. Um, uh, I saw Ahmed Johnson about two months ago uh, at the airport. I was on my way to Florida. And uh, I walked up and, he, and we made eye contact. He looked at me and he smiled. And I turned left and I went to the counter and I proceeded to get on the plane. I didn't even speak to him. I didn't even acknowledge him because he's a, a lying, a, a, a notorious lying, low down piece of you know what. And that's the reason I did not even acknowledge him. That if 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 I mean Johnson is doing conventions and stuff now, if he, if he want to you know say something about this, because I'm sure he's going to hear about it, I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to uh, ever acknowledge him because, like I say, he's he's a wide, low down skull. I'll never acknowledge him. But if he ever acknowledged me, I would definitely uh, proceed. I just want to put that out there and, and say that this guy, like I say, he's a notorious lie. He said he played for the Dallas Cowboys. You know, he said he was in a gang. If you, if he played for the Dallas Cowboys, anybody from 85 to 95, go look on, on any scroll. And, and I'm not going to even call him Ahmed Johnson any, anymore because that's not his name. His name's Tony Norris. Okay. That's, that's, that's what his name is. WWE owned, owned, owned Ahmed Johnson. Okay. He's not Ahmed Johnson. He's Tony, Tony Norris. Uh, like I said, if, 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 if I ever see him, you know, we'll deal. Um, if, if he wants to say something to me, but for me, for my part, I'm not, I'm never going to acknowledge someone like him because I know what kind of person I am and to hear someone like him disparage me. And think, let me go back one, one more time and say that, um, we didn't get along in, in, in the wrestling school that we went to. We both went to, uh, Ivan Pusky's wrestling school and <laughs> I remember one day I did have a, uh, confrontal. With, with Ahmed Johnson at the wrestling school because we were doing practice. And I was doing hip tosses, all tricks, victory rolls, stuff like that. And he wanted to practice power bombs. And I said, look, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't practice power bombs. And he got hot about it. He got a little bit hot about it. And uh, and, I, and I think I checked him that day and told him, hey, man, you, you got a problem with me, I'll be outside. Wait, and I think my brother can attest to this. And, it, and he pretty much, you know, said, nah, so we squashed it, whatnot, whatnot. But I never had a problem with Ahmed Johnson, I never disliked Ahmed Johnson, and and, and I and me personally, I, I don't even know where he's getting half the stuff that he's saying. But then again, I do because I have to take a break. He's a notorious lying, low down piece of you know what.